of I really like that. Uh, I thought it was really punny at the time and now I am stuck with it. It's like, I really like that, but I really like that. But my regular Instagram handle is take a hill pill. Also punny, uh, but funnier, I think. <laughs> I think it's clever, you know. I am trying to do podcasts. I've been wanting to try. I don't really have the editing tools to be successful, I think. Um, but you know what? I want to talk about what I'm knitting. I want to make some friends. I don't have any real knitting friends. So um, at least in the area that I live, I have a lot of Instagram knitting friends. Um, in a sense, you know. Um, I'm really trying not to say um. <laughs> anyway, a little bit about myself. I am a... Or are you saying a... Uh, I am a woman. <laughs> Great. This is going well. Um, no, I am an ER nurse on the weekends. Uh, I work part-time, so only two days, usually Friday and Saturday, but sometimes I work like Friday, Sunday or Saturday, Sunday. Um, just kind of depends on where the needs are on the weekend. I have a one-year-old. I'm happily married. Now this is starting to sound like Wheel of Fortune. Um, oh, I said, I'm um, again. Oh no. Please stop saying um. I am filming this in front of my Willy Wonka chocolate bar doors, aka the closet in our bedroom. <laughs> uh, and I want to talk about my knitting. I'm in my knitting nook. I'm in my, my sewing area. My child's asleep. Might as well get it out there. I was watching something um, on my cousin's um, Instagram feed. No, oh, I said um again. Take a shot every time I say um. Uh, uh, and it was talking about how, you know, I just want you to see my thought process of what I'm knitting, the colors that I'm putting together, and sometimes the quality of what I put out there not as far as knitting and stuff goes because I really try to make that decent quality, especially with the yarns that I'm using. But like video quality, I'm not trained in this. So um, just getting them out there is good enough. <laughs> and then I'll get better over time and the lighting will be get, become better. And um, But start with what you have and see what you can do. So... Anyway, in this episode, I just wanted to talk about some of the gift nets that I've finished already, some that I'm working on, and then some future projects that I have in mind, or that not have in mind, that I plan to do, because I already bought the yarn for it. Um, oh, she said home again. So, we'll go ahead and get started. This is my podcast. Vlogcast? I don't know. Alright, so the first gift that I made um, is a hat, a Oslo hat by Petite Knit. I made it in cashmere merino wool and I just think it is so lovely. Um, I'll put it on. This is for my stepdad. Um, I think it makes my eyes look really nice. Um, I think he's going to love it. Yeah. Not much to say about this. It's an easy pattern. Stock and knit stitch. The hardest part is this right here, which isn't even really that hard. Connecting your, um, flipped portion to make it a double layer and then knitting in the opposite direction, which is just more knitting. <laughs> so very fun. Um, well, inside out. The next one, my weaves aren't, um, weaved in. 
so please ignore them. But this one's for my mom. I saw that Brooke Willow from Anna from Brooke Willow had done this hat in her hand spun last year, and since then I just haven't been able to get this out of my mind. Um, so I am making this for my mother. Uh, I would love to hand spin, but them wheels are expensive. And I don't have the money to drop on that right now. David and I are trying to go to Italy next summer for his um, cousin's wedding. And I've never been to Europe and I want to go to Europe. So prioritize that money, money, money. Anyway, here's the hat. This is by Paula Strict. My mom is in Arizona, so not sure how useful this is in Arizona. But she's always saying, I want a hat to wear when I come to Illinois. So here we are. Super cute. Little aviator. Amelia Earhart. Those are my two finished gifts of 10. Amazing. I should have started way earlier, which I think all of us are probably thinking. Next year, no one's getting gifts. <laughs> That's not true. They're just not getting any gifts. All right. We're going to go on to what I am working on. I tried to join the tessellated or totally tessellated sock challenge. No longer what have you. Uh, like I mentioned earlier, I'm an ER nurse and I have a one-year-old. So this was pretty much set up, what well, ER nurse on the weekend set up so that I could not finish these socks. And you know, I think that I am a semi-fast knitter. Some of y'all are so fast. Your girl ain't that fast. And I had to put away some time and my time is limited. And I try to knit as much as I can. Anyway, Thanksgiving, I didn't really get to knit much because we were over at my husband's family's house. And you know, when you're the only knitter, and everyone's like, what are you knitting? And you get so many questions. And normally I wouldn't mind asking or talking about it, but it's like, I, I can't. Even when I knit on my break at work, I'm boring myself. I like just just let me knit. Just leave me alone. We don't have to talk about it. Sometimes I like talking about it. Truly, sometimes. Other times I'm just like I have my earphones in. I don't want to talk about my knitting. I don't know if you can hear that. <sighs> I'll be back. Anyway, this is the reality of my life. <laughs> um, I believe I was talking about the tessellated sock challenge and that I wasn't able to finish because and also work. But I wanted to show what I did finish. I was gonna make these for my dad, but decided that it's too hard to make socks for gift knits, I think, unless the person's there to continually try on the sock. Uh, and I just really coveted this yarn. <laughs> so sad. But the alpaca is from my 30th birthday trip. And then I also had spin cycle from a couple Christmases ago that I did not use of Ghost Ranch. And, um, it was my first time using Bear Paw, Bear Paw Sock Run by farmer, the farmer's, um, the farm, the farmer's daughter fiber. <laughs> um, but these are the socks. I love that you can't really tell that they're squares except the blue ones, and it looks like a gradient. I think that's so fun. Um, I think that I did say that I wasn't a huge fan of the tessellated pullover 
and um, tessellated vest. I normally like a v-neck vest unless it's like a cabled vest of some sort. So I wasn't a really huge fan of the those patterns and I, I didn't like the way the drop shoulder was on the tessellated vest or sweater. So, but I was really obsessed with the socks and I'm glad that I tried to do it and challenge myself and I'm proud of how far I did get with those. Um, so the, those are what I'm working on for me. Um, as far as like continued gift knits, I am knitting another also hat for my sister. I'm using Felix from Lobby and MA. Um, and I'm holding it double because that's a lace weight yarn. And then I'm holding it with some cumulus alpaca yarn, which obviously I'll have to get more. Um, it's a very pretty purple and I just think it looks really nice together. Oops. Um, let's see here. What else? I'm also decided because I'm not knitting the tessellated socks for my dad that I was going to try to do the Musselberg hat for him. I'm not crazy the way that it's turning out right now because it's I'm trying to use some scrap yarns that are really nice, uh, like this Madeline Tosh yarn. Um, and then I was starting a stripe. I'm not sure if I'm crazy about it. I'm gonna see, I'm gonna get halfway through and be like, hmm, do I like that as a hat on one side? Which, I mean, I am working on so many works in progress right now. We'll see if we get it done. The next hat that I am working on is one for my husband. It is the Treasure Trove hat by Stephen West. Um, I'm using Cashmere Merino Bloom again. And I just absolutely love um, Cashmere Merino Bloom. And I thought, what a fun hat to do. And he really liked it as well. So um, I'll show you my colors here if Birdie will allow me. I'm going to show off some a little early. So these are the colors that we're going to do. I always buy just like one cashmere merino bloom skein as it goes on sale because I can't afford it at full price. I can barely afford it when it goes on sale. So uh, also very coveted yarn. <laughs> I have been watching... Well, I watch Young Folk Knits all the time. Um, just started watching Design by So-and-So. I forget her name. Um, but they do, are doing a pressed flowers cow. And once I'm done with my test knits, I think that I can knit this shawl, the pressed flower shawl, in a month. If I focus all my time on it. Um, and these are the colors I'm going to use. So I have this Juicy DK by the Farmer's Daughters fiber, Fibers, and then I have this Scout Yarn, um, which has like heathered bits of that purple in there, so I think it'll look nice. The only thing is, it is um, <laughs> not my child pulling apart my skeins, um, or my cakes, or whatever. One is superwash, and one I believe is um, non-superwash, so we'll see how those fare together. I think it'll look really pretty though. Yeah. I'm also watching the Saunders Knitting Podcast, I believe. If I get it wrong, I'll just put it somewhere. Um, and she's doing a pom-pom knit along because pom-pom, as we all know, is not producing anymore magazines I have a special I love pom-pom magazine my dad um would get me pom-pom magazine every Christmas like a subscription every Christmas so I am pretty sad about not getting to um or I'm sad that they're going and so I really want to take part in this cow I've been wanting to knit the plumatist I believe it is called by Julie Knits in Paris 
is her Instagram? I don't know. Julie is her first name. I, I don't remember her last name. But um, I've decided that I'm going to use this Lobbyan Ami Copper S Mohair Silk. I just think it's so pretty. And then I have this Rust Knitting for Olive yarn that I was going to knit a dress for Birdie in, but I decided to use a different color. And I just think, like, this is for the collar and the waistband. I just think that these look good together. Maybe. Hopefully not like a clown. This is my gauge swatch. It's kind of hard to see. Maybe if I put it on. Nope. I don't know. You guys can just put it just there. My child is throwing things out of the drawer. And now I am rushing this podcast. Oh, I also am working on the lure of sweater. I'll just put a video in. Um, but I must go because this is my life and we'll see if I can edit this. Oh, I am working on some sewing projects as well. The BF um, bag patterns by Blackbird Fabrics um, for my sisters. And I think they're going to be so cute. All right, got to go. Bye-bye. I'll show finished products. Yeah. <laughs>